going on guys phil here and today we're going to be taking a look at battle tech advance 3062 and we're going to be starting a career and doing a series of videos showcasing the career of a new uh, mercenary outfit and uh, hanging out with you guys so if you don't know about BattleTech uh, Advanced 3062 I will have a link in the description that gives you a pretty good overview and of course how to download it on Nexus I can tell you this if I can install it you can install it trust me it is very simple to do now keep in mind if you are gonna be playing it right now at least when this video is created um, we have the brand new patch by HBS 1.9 and their last patch to note um, that is not yet updated with BTA. So if you're going to install this, uh, you will need to go to your um, Steam launch folder or Steam games, uh, go to properties, go to betas and go to the 1.8.1. And of course, more information can be found on the BTA discord if you have any questions or anything like that. Feel free to hit up the comments down below. I'll do my best to support you guys getting this up now. I've played Rogue Tech, I've played some other mods. I can tell you, I've been extremely happy and addicted to this mod. If you follow me along on our Twitch channel, which by the way, if you haven't uh, checked us out, we stream every single day at twitch.tv forward slash NGNGTV. I'll have the link in the description. Make sure to camp, come over and hang out while we play a variety of games, and including this, which has captivated me. I've literally been addicted. I actually have had to force myself to play other games because just ticks all the box guys is uh first off you're gonna notice some differences you're gonna notice you have more mechs yes that's right more mechs five mechs to start with with a total of eight possible some questions you probably also have is are the clans no not yet and that's going to be an optional downloadable pack later on by the creators of this mod as well as with the clan invasion or clan expansion uh that they're going to be doing and keep in mind this isn't an official expansion this is from the mod creators um it'll also open up the map this one uses the vanilla map so it's relatively small there's plenty to do though trust me um what other things uh it messes with the evasion system and so forth and so on customization in the mech lab is fantastic it let's just go ahead let's start this journey together so of course if uh you want any more information go ahead and check out the description down below and if you need anything directly hit me up on uh the comments and or hit me up on our discord too i'll have that down below as well so let's go ahead and start this career and i have I've already started uh, a career because of the uh, stream, uh, so I won't be going into this blind, but what we will be doing is we'll be setting up a new career to play. Um, one thing I'm not gonna check is Iron Man. Sometimes this, I, well, look, if I lose a mech, it's pretty bad anyways. Yeah. There will be death uh, probably that happens. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen. I just uncheck this because Weird stuff sometimes happen with saves. Like for instance, sometimes missions, uh, something gets hung up or if there's a glitch or whatever it is. If you have this on, it could also screw you over. So just keep that in mind. Friendly fire, I'm gonna keep on. Parts for mech assembly. Now, if you wanna go for like a career where you're going for the top score in this mod, good for you. Crank it up to eight, go hardcore. Me, I think four is a good number. So that's what we're going to settle on. I'm not going to mess with any of this salvage contract payment commander experience. We're going to leave that as is advanced mech warriors. Well, I'm actually okay with just putting this to normal. If anything, or rare, let's go rare advanced. Let's go rare. It doesn't really add anything. Point four pilots per system. We can go down to four on that. Sure. Why not? Uh, mech war progression, normal mech war exponent, normal. Lethality, normal, um, starting money, normal, shopping, sell prices, back maintenance. It has it on e easy right now. Let's go ahead and just put that to normal. I don't really feel like that's too difficult. Scrap return values, we're going to do it at 15%. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, really, we're not really changing anything. Now, the big decision here will be what we're going to be doing with the starting planet and max. Now, each one of these is a little bit different. Uh, Davian, Steiner, Karita, Merrick, Leal, Mercenary, Turin, Magistry, Murano, Funzies, Pirate, Primitive, Brawling, Fire Support, Recon, and Sniper. Now, you notice here, uh, Davian through Mercenary, there's no difficulty. But as soon as you go down to, like, Sniper, 0.6, right? If you go down to um, Pirate, 
as well 0.4 what this basically means is the starting mechs that you potentially can get will in this case be a little bit shittier but um for our intents and purposes we're going to let's 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 just sort of roll rp here we're gonna be let's let's go mercenary that's that's what we are going to be and i feel like it's appropriate so let's go ahead and do that as well so mercenary here you can see total difficult difficulty rating as far as multiplier is 0.35 nothing crazy but uh let's go ahead and dive in here and uh jump in and do a mission or two show you around the mech lab show you what's a little bit different and of course uh, we've got some argo upgrade differences as well that allow you to have five mechs to begin with with a total of eight total plus tonnage and stuff like that so let's go dive in here all right now we got the character summary and this is uh, again uh, nothing new if you've already played uh the game we're gonna go with uh room world periphery or the deep periphery you know let's go from uh let's go from the uh deep periphery here you uh you came from the dark uh until the day after your 16th birthday when we're gonna go dark i say we go exiled let's do that gunnery and tactics okay that works out on your own you fell into the life of a let's go frontier pirate man you're a pirate right yeah let's keep that frontier pirate right all right so we have three two three three so not the best but not the worst let's go pick our name and portrait all right uh on my online playthrough we've got uh a female mech warrior so let's go and go with a male here and i really look i dig the painted portraits um i dig the mech 5 stuff and the custom stuff i'm not a big fan of like the 3d generated ones i think the other ones look just pretty cool um so let's go here are we going young or old what are what are we doing here all right let's scroll down here what do you guys think some of the first thing that just sort of pops in my head here all right scrolling down here okay i can respect the beard here i mean come on all right let's keep going hey mark nicholson how you doing buddy that's a mech 5 portrait oh he's going like hardcore he's like the army look at that thing the beret there all right we got another beard respect Ooh, are we gonna go old man here no maybe you can see there's plenty of and also too you you can actually add to this from my understanding if you so desire and let's keep scrolling here oh wow look at that darren would be proud of that chin and that stash all right let's keep scrolling down all right yeah we'll go with this one all right so we're gonna go a uh, call sign hmm what do we go with mad cat timberwolf is that no we're not allowed to do that random firebrand shadow i like shadow all right we're gonna go with a pronoun here him franklin turkey we're gonna we're gonna go with Sean. And then we're gonna go with Lang. Yeah, I think that works. I'm gonna go Shadow. That works. All right. Pretty simple. Decades ago, your family uh, came from the Regan Reach, deep from the periphery. You were exiled for an unforgivable transgression, and then out on your own, you fell into the life of frontier pirate. But you're turning your ways around. You've learned a lot. You're going to the mercenary life, and you're going to make it work. So, here we go. All right, first things first, here is the Argo. I think the first thing we need to do is we need to customize, right? We need, we, we're going to go shadow here. All right, if we're going to go shadow, what would be appropriate uh, insignia here? What do you guys think? What color are we going to go? Shadow, dark, blacks? Maybe is that? Yeah. Is that what we're gonna do? Oh, that one's cool. All right. Is there any other like dark, mysterious? Shadow. 
shadowy figure-ish. The goat. Uh, I love these insignias. All right, let's just, you know what? I want something a little bit more. Heraldry, yeah, you know, a horse, maybe. Yeah, that works. All right, we're gonna go with the, uh, what, like first battalion? First Armored Battalion. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll roll with that. Let's try to match here. We got some some colors here. We're going to go with a, a blue, maybe? A dark, dark blue? That's a little bit too. I feel like that would work. And what's our, our... Oh, yeah, okay, I'm red. Uh, I feel like that's too... It would be like a white here, white gray. I feel like all the Steiners out there are like cheering right now. Maybe we, maybe we don't want to go that color. Well, it does have like this green color. Does that work? It's less Steiner. You know, you can't. It'll go straight to their head. You'd be like, yeah, that's right, Phil. You know who you work for. We have like a really dark. I don't think we do there. Ah, I feel like that's just, it just doesn't line up. It's almost there. Almost. I guess something a little bit more that color. Ooh, monkeys. No, what, what, what screams the first? That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. All right, we'll go with that. Let's see if anything here. That's actually not bad. The eye. All right, we can always change it. First armored battalion. Okay, so you're new to this mod. What does it change? Why is that important? So forth and so on. All right, the first thing is we need to find out what mechs that we have. So here we go. We're going to find out. All right, we got a Centurion 9A. Good, good mech to start off with. Urban mech R60, not so good. Absolutely, absolutely horrible. All right, Locust. Oh, man, we drew, we drew horribly. I just want to make that very, very clear. We have a Cicada. Now, the Cicada 3F here is actually not bad. If anything... It's fantastic. You may be asking yourself, well, why, Phil? Well, six energy, okay? It also comes with an XL engine, 320. So one, you're faster than hell. You have jump jets, you have an ERPPC, and here's the big thing, endo steel. Oh, and might be boggling your mind right now if you're used to the vanilla game. Yes, this is fully customizable. You have uh, gyros, you have engines, you have how many in, uh, engine heat sinks can be carried. So for instance, a 320 can hold an additional two heat sinks if I added an e-cooling rig. There's a lot going on here. Don't try to take it in all at once, but just know that Indo Steel is not hot swappable, unlike Pharaoh. Pharaoh I can remove at any given time. You'll find different types of Pharaoh, but Indo Steel is hard fixed to certain variants. This makes finding them very, very rare and very, very good and you may go hunting to find a specific one. Like for instance, if you like the Marauder and so forth, you will hunt a specific Marauder to find the Indo Steel version. So this actually isn't a bad uh, mech. This is actually pretty good for us. It doesn't, we don't have a ton of firepower here. We're gonna go ahead and click um, uh, on save here. Ooh, I like the colors. Yes, we have a wasp here. This is a custom geometry one too. That's pretty cool, it looks nice. We need a little bit more blue on our locust. Not copy, not enough blue. Um, maybe that last one? One? Enough? Needs more blue? All right, that's more blue. Oh man, we got an urban mech. This thing is completely useless. Literally, I'll probably end up selling it. But before we get started, I have the heavy 
metal pack. So we get an additional asset plus a few other bonuses. How do you get this really quick? You're gonna click the Argo and you're gonna go one day and it's gonna prompt you, don't worry. Bam. All right, so obviously, hey, Commander, the talk on Merknet is some hot new mechs. You do not have to take this if you don't want it, but we're going to take it. Let's see what we get. Cross your fingers. Yeah. What are we going to get? Our, okay, it's Cicada 3G. All right, we got two Cicadas. <laughs> this is going to even be more appropriate. We also have a UAC-5. This is fantastic. That's a great weapon system, especially early on. Uh, we got the 3G here, and it's based off the same chassis as the 3F. The 3G was introduced in 3056 to transform the chassis into more of a dedicated recon platform. It trades the PPC for an ER large and a BAP and additional armor. Okay, so is cleared for fighting. obviously we've got uh, another Cicada. Good news. It's also got Pharaoh. It's also got jump capability. Um, also, it's got BAP on here. BAP is actually a really cool feature. Um, I will show you why and uh, why it's so important. So, okay, we've got that. That's out of the way. We have two cicadas. This couldn't be just... For those that don't know, you have to know. I've been playing MWO for years, and my favorite mech is the cicada. Like, how is that... Game. Game. You know me. You know me so well. Okay, so who's going to be piloting these? This is important oh we did not luck out yep oh we're in a little bit of a well okay blockade is a good pilot don't get me wrong having that okay so we can okay so multi-targets nice this would be good in the centurion right off the bat because the centurion has the ac10 lrm uh crash here as bulwark sure footing sorry She's pretty low as far as skills, but that could be nice in the Cicada. She really needs this right here. Orders. We have Finn as well. Yep. We have Geezer. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at that. Obviously myself. And oh my Order. gosh, we have Darius. The XO. I'm gonna, he's gonna be dismissed. It's, it's gonna happen. Oh, I've wanted to fire you, so this is, this is fantastic. All right. So let's go ahead to engineering. Let's also show you what's different here. So the first thing you're gonna notice when we go to drop is that you can drop with five mechs. Um, how do you increase that? Actually, you increase it right here. Improves your ability to field additional, enable six mechs to be deployed or 450 tons total. So uh, for instance, you can still do five, but that would allow you to do more tonnage or six and under 450 or at 450 or more. You need to replay, uh, repair power conduits. Obviously, we're not doing that right now. Um, as this increases, as you unlock more options, unlock here. Same thing with the recreation. You guys are pretty familiar, and we will get to that as soon as possible. So let's go take a quick look here. Um, Centurion. All right. I mean, I like that, that camo right there. It's, it's subtle. It's to the point. So is that one. That one's really cool, isn't it? The legs. Got those highlights. That one's cool too. I like it. All right. So when my, my one pilot's going to be in there, I'm, the only thing I'm missing here, and it's not very good, is that we're missing sensor lock. And that is really, really important. And I'm almost tempted to go that route just so we have it right off the bat. Now, why is sensor lock important? So in this game, evasion is really important. In previous vanilla, when you'd get shot at, it would tick your evasion away. Not in BTA. BTA, when you get shot at, nothing changes. Um, what can happen, though, is if you have sensor lock, just like uh, the vanilla game, it takes off two evasion pips. So, if you're going up against fast and light, and you know, which we are going to be, some mechs are going to have a high evasion. And right now, we don't have the highest skilled pilots. Actually, we sort of got shafted, um, especially with this guy down here. So, that being said, I think I am going to go that route. Because what we could do is we could go sensor, uh, sure footing, and ace pilot. And it makes you really good as far as like a cicada pilot. And that would work. And I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead. Training confirmed. I won't be firing as much, even though I am one of the higher. But that is a possibility. 
And so I'll be going on Cicada. Uh, Blockade will be going on Centurion. The other top pilot here, I would say Finn. You. Piloting is really nice here. Oof, we're just gonna have to see. All right, let's go check our first mission and go from there. All right, Merknet. Ooh, well, okay. Mopping up. Um, this is a battle. Now, I tend to only stick to battle, destroy base, defend base, and recovery. I do not mess really with the escorts. And funny enough, we don't ambush convoy. I won't do these. These are just weird. And assassinate, I can do. So really, the only mission on this planet that I won't probably be doing is uh, this backyard barbecue. But the rest here, I think we'll be in good shape. Now... Just like the base game, um, you have reputation. We're going to be starting off here across the board equally with, well, eh, keep that in mind. I started as a mercenary, right? And, well, you can see here's where my standings are. Pirate's already negative. Uh, Steiner. So, anyways, we got to build up our rep, right? Um, let's go take a look where we're at right now. Okay. All right. We're right smack in the middle of everything. Nothing really crazy going on. Okay. Cool. Let's go and do a mission and uh, start building up the lance from there. We do have 600,000. I don't think we really need to change anything right now. Oh my god, test drive a Fafner. Do you guys want to test drive a Fafner right off the bat? We've captured the latest pride and joy of the Lyran Commonwealth, a Fafner FNR-5. Our scientists have been reverse engineering the monster, but now they say they need a real-world data data before they can continue. We'd like you to provide that data. We've located local government lands to use as a guinea pig. Take the Fafner down to the planet and eliminate the lands. Needless to say, we don't have another of these, so it's imperative that you return it. Let's go ahead and do this, shall we? Now, for the most part, what you're going to want to do is um, more salvage the one exception I think I roll here is sometimes you'll get these like dual uh, duos or duels and st stuff like that where you know you're not going to be going up against a lot of vehicles. And so if you went with really high salvage, you may only kill one vehicle or mech or something or even two. It's a, it's, it's a toss of a coin. It's up to you. I normally go salvage because you'll get engines and you can sell them and you can sell mechs and parts and so forth. Anyways, let's go do that. All right. So obviously we got a Fafner here. I want my best pilot in the Fafner. Then I'm going to go Centurion here. We're going to go with the Cicada 3G, Cicada 3F. And I'm going to roll out as much as I can here. Shadow, we are going to... Let's take the... Hmm, this is tough. I am one of the higher pilots. Okay, we'll do... Ah, oh, man. All right, Finn is going to go in the Centurion just because he is a higher by two. Um, Crash, oh, man, I wish she had sensors. Actually, she may end up going sensor lock, um, but it really depends. What do we have here? 3C variant comes with a powerful PPC. All right, so maybe geezer here, maybe let's let's go. We'll go that, and then we'll throw geezer here, and then we have one more. Let's see. Obviously, not gonna do the uh, urban mech because it literally could die. The wasp is super super squishy as well. Um, it can jump really nice. That's one of its abilities here. If you notice, nimble. Gets plus 15 jump distance. By the way, some mechs have quirks. You may notice that. Um, for instance, uh, let's see, where's the cicada? Cicada is easy to pilot, plus 20% walking distance, plus 10% sprint distance. Some mechs have them, some mechs don't. Just sort of be aware of that. All right, we can, we can, you know what? Let's, let's go the locust here. It's got a medium, it's got machine guns, it's got high movement. We can make that work. We need to get her experience. And then we're going to probably throw um, XO here out of the airlock. <clears throat> so here we go. You guys ready? First two skull. We got a Fafner uh, to test deploy. Let's go to roll. Drop it. Mm. All right. And here we go. Down to the battlefield. Begin mission. Let's see what we got. Command interface initiated. 
Alright, Commander, that is the ugliest damn mech I've ever seen. Built like a brick shit house, though. Still a Yang. We're tracking the target lance in this region. Commander, move up and put this thing through its paces. When you're ready to evac, Commander, I'll pick you up here. Alright, so... First thing, uh, first... <laughs> first thing first, um, obviously every mission will be different, every scenario. Um, but as we go through this, I will do my best to explain what's going on. Now, I tend to... Well, we've got a cicada down here in the Locust. What I'm going to tend to do is move up uh, and keep this ridge. Uh, try to be as high as I can versus the potential targets. But here's the, here's the thing about these missions. Normally what happens is you have a lance to engage. And then there's reinforcements that generally happen. Those reinforcements can be friendly to the enemy. And also can be enemies to the enemy. So we just have to keep in mind. Keep in mind, this uh, mech is the Lyran Alliance property and we're dropping against the local government. So the Lyrans might come for their mech and then maybe we trap them in the middle. So we have dual heavy gas here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sprint. I don't really care um, about the rough terrain. I just wanna go as far as I can and that's not very far. So let's go do that. Um, all right, let's go move up here, AC 10. And of course, here comes the cicadas. You can see the cicadas movement. Now, um, you'll also notice uh, off in the distance here, this little blue line. Now, each mech has a sight range on it, and that means how far physically it can see. And then, of course, it sensors how far it can pick up information. Um, you can expand that. You can expand that greatly. And uh, if anything, that's probably what we're going to do on this cicada. And another really awesome thing is because we have jump jets here, we can, and we have uh, long-range weapons, we can go ahead and sprint up here, jump up here, and... As I mentioned, ah, height really matters in this game. And, well, there you go. The first sensor. We're going to go ahead and ping this thing here. I've got a sensor lock. All right. It's a drill, son. All right. Now, Orders. let's Skipper. go ahead and take a look here. I think we might. Could we get a shot? We're going to maneuver around, so if we can see anything here. It hasn't moved yet, so we can get pretty much a free hit. But it doesn't look like we can, so I'm not going to stress it that much. I'm going to go ahead and move up here to join the others. Again, you've got pretty far distance. Let's go ahead and run. Affirmative, Commander. Again, you'll probably notice a lot. I sprint a lot. That evasion is really important, especially they can also sensor ping you. So just sort of keep that in mind. All right, geezer um is good to go all right there we go axo i'm tracking an inbound uh, blip coming in fast and low look like they're making a drop off keep us updated meyer uh commander things might be might be <laughs> might about to get complicated yeah just a little bit again what's sort of difficult here is we don't know if they're friendly to these forces or Waiting enemy for i'm hoping they're well i don't know if they're enemy they'll be in a crossfire so that could be good right all right, we're just going to reserve here. I want to see where they go and if they go anywhere. That's why I'm hitting this. I want to see this vehicle move. Okay, he's moving. Okay, so let's go to reserve one more time. Well, actually, we got to reserve a few times. Oh my gosh, this Fafner. All right, let's get this. Let's get this thing. Oh, come on, go a little, go a little bit faster. No, that's as fast as it's gonna go. All right. That's fine. Waiting. It just means order. we'll have some some fun for it. Waiting. Um, I am going yeah. to jump up here. And we do have potential eyes on and shots. Partially obstructed. Now, you also notice there is another line there. And I have another piece of equipment here. Active uh, probe ping. Now, when I... Activate that you can see that there's a circle around now. What does that do if there's units within that circle and I hit active probe it basically does a sensor lock but on all the targets there so if per se there was three vehicles or three mechs right below here and I was to hit that It would act as act as your turn, but it would take off two evasion pits, but because that's not the case and I've got sensors. I want to figure out what this is right here Let's go Got take a, a look. Okay, it's a wasp 1A. Got something you want done? Okay. 
And it's already moved, but you can see 15% chance, pretty low as far as evasion and to hit ratio here on the drill sun, 15, 15. We can take a shot, sure, why not? You don't hit what you don't shoot, as they say. All right. What are your orders, Skipper? All right, that guy's geezer. That's fantastic, whoever named that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do we wanna hit here or go here? 17, oh, this is the, this is the PBC. Okay, we're gonna, ooh, can we do it? Yeah, we're gonna oh, jump right here. All right, now we, we've got a obstruction here. If you mouse over obstructed plus two long range, that's fine, target moved. Pretty low chance, 15.6, we also jumped, but again, here we go. You don't hit what you don't shoot. So we'll go ahead and try it there. You gotta be shitting me. That should have <laughs> I love on, the man. characters, that's great. All right, again, can't really do a ton here, but we are gonna keep this locust moving. Mechs do get double damage as far as melee damage to vehicles. So maybe we go that route. Maybe we'll flank and distract a little bit of fire. You just have to be very careful because they are squishy. Um, ooh, uh, Commander, I've got eyes on a new Lance in the AO. Looks like Davian markings. Damn it, our employer seems to have sprung a leak. Commander, those units are optional. If you need to evac, don't hesitate. They're not friends. So let's see if they start shooting each other. Waiting for the right move. Or are they friends? No, they're not friends. Maybe? Maybe, are they? Advantage. No shots being fired yet. Let's reserve here. Someone Is someone going to shoot? Tactical advantage. They may be friends here. They are not friends. This is good. Now, in life, guys... When life gives you oranges, make orange juice. Let's just capitalize on the mistakes. All right. We're a mercenary here. Why get in the middle of, of a love? Why? They've got a relationship going. If anything, ready to get it on. We can just, we can just, we can just help them just yep. bond and Everything will be fine. Also, before we really let's let's reserve here. Holding I want to get my two. Fafnir. The only reason being is, and you may see me doing this a lot in this. Commander. I want to see. Do I have any shots here? Okay, I don't have any shots. So I'm gonna go ahead and move him up. Acknowledged. That's fine. And yeah. that wasp lamb, which by the way is a real thing. You have good shots now you're gonna notice something i have very good to hit against this target even though it's moved that's because of height and how important height is now the same thing is going to apply against me shooting at height heightened targets is very difficult but shooting down below is just magical so let's go ahead and maybe try to go for targets of opportunity here those obviously vehicles and the one mech Let's see. I'm gonna go for that. Mineral field. No. Let's go ahead and I'm tempted just to stay here. You know, are they gonna Do I have any shots over here while I'm moving? I don't think we have anything to worry about up here, but you never know. And again, why get in between their love, you know? Like, confirmed. maybe just let them do their thing, right? Do we have any shots here? Oh, yeah, look at that. Acknowledged. All right. So this guy hasn't moved. 70, 81, 53, 71, that Irby. That Irby's getting messed up here. It's those machine guns. Affirmative. Let's go fire here. Sensors impaired. Yes, Commander. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move up here. 
Aye, aye. Now, I could sensor lock here. I could. But I don't think I'm going to with him just yet. Just yet. I think I am going to take... No. We'll just go ahead and fire this. Locked on. Okay, that was that was a good round of uh, hits there. Yes, Commander. All right, so that is a javelin. I'm gonna go ahead and move the locust up here. Good to go. Again, I need to be very careful. I've got a lot of movement there, which is great. What do you need? Oh, that's unfortunate. I just. Let's see. Let's go do that. Got it. You're large. More concerned with those things. Firing. Okay, we got another mech. That's probably forces. And of course, here's crash. And this is sort of what I was hoping on to know the evasion obviously whatever that is let's go to reserve here let right. fight out let's see if these two come my way that's one thing they're gonna get shot at again sort of right in the middle sometimes it's just you just let them do their thing get that fafner in, in range you know it's a lot of clicking of just like waiting See, there we go. He's got cover, which of course, if I go for a rear shot, ignores cover. Wow. Hold on, does this Irby have an MRM? Is that MRM 30? Let me see here. It does, MRM 30. All right. Order. All right, now these two have moved. I am gonna see if I can get a back shot here. There is no back shot I can get. Potentially. All right, let's see about this. Okay, it is not a back shot, but that's a back shot, but only with a medium laser. You can tell by the green. This is a side shot. This is a green, but it's obstructed. So if you mouse over, you can see obstructed. So you'll see a different uh, cord, uh, color coordinating. You'll see it like a purple, that means obstructed. Um, from far off, just a far off front shot. So that's actually a really dangerous mech right there. I'm not going to, I'm hoping maybe the Fafner here can do some yep. work. Let's see what shots what we have right here. Those two mechs haven't moved. So I'm not too worried about that again, especially if I'm engaging these. Really all I'm worried about is saving my own bacon, if, if you know what I'm saying. So, ready to rock. I do have a shot here. I would jump. That 59 would go down a percent. So, let's go to reserve here. I'm not really. Let's see if I can get the Fafner. I don't think the Fafner will have an angle, but you never know. A little bit more damage. The Irby turned its back. Vehicles, by the way, take them seriously. Do not. Ready for orders. Do not not take them seriously because you, you think they're just vehicles. They will ruin your day. Roger. Right, I'm going to go ahead and push up here. 69% chance. Medium laser 43. Long range again because of her skills here. There we go. That was a good shot. Left leg destroyed. That's really good. Scored a critical Target's going to fall going to do some damage to the pilot initiative negative one so where he went on the second round he's going to go on third now and also that vehicle may light him up depending on what there's a drill yeah. factor all right it's actually not bad right, especially yep. considering this now we can capitalize on this let me shoot from here. Actually, we can shoot from here. All right, 82%. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go for just CT there. Oh, miss. Oh, 80-something percent and a miss. That's rough. That's rough. 
That's rough. All right, now before I use him, I'm going to wait. Reserve. I'm going to get to my Fafner because if I have shots with my Fafner with the dual heavy Goss, I should. I do have shots here. All right, this is why we waited. Let's move. All right, we're going to precision strike. 92% chance. We're going to go straight for... Uh, actually, you know what? Javelin would be good salvage here. So let's go for a leg. This should be good. All right, left torso, left arm, right leg, right torso. Okay, it's all dead. Piling past hitted. He's dead. One salvage part. I tried. All right, so on first go, um, let's go ahead and hit this guy. Yeah. Let's go and jump here. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump, get a lot of evasion. And what we're going to do is we're going to sensor lock this fire starter. The reason for that is he's usually not the first Sensor's initiative. So that'll go. Let's see if he is this turn one. Okay. I get to go. Who gets to go next? All right. Whatever this is. Commander. All right, I, again, want to be very careful with her. I'm going to reserve. She's got really high evasion right now. Don't want to change that. I think what we can do is push the Fafner up to this ridge. We'll have the high ground. See where the slams go. Let them engage again. We're, we're, we're basically just trying to capitalize on the fact that two enemy forces are engaging. Utilizing our height up here with the two cicadas, which again is so ironic, all things considering. All right, now we don't have to necessarily go just yet. Let's let's wait here. Let's let them let's let them roll. There we go. Oh, that's gonna be a back shot. That Irby is not feeling too good. Firestar. We're going to have back shots here in a second. There's MRM crit. All right, we got one more. That Drillson is probably going to come back, I would assume. By the way, vehicles can roll very fast and very far. Again, sensor lock is very, very useful against vehicles. All right. Let's go ahead and reserve. Again, it seems like I'm doing this a lot. It's basically because the Fafner is back here. That's why. Alright, so I can get a back or a shot on this drill son if I sit 20%. It's really not a move here. Let me just move just once. There's no point in running and getting that negative hit. Alright, let's go ahead and take that. Or do I want to go up here? And that way I'm in the fight on the next turn. Let's go do that. On my way. Double yep. time. I know that's not as fun. It's a little bit, Good to go. little bit boring. Yeah. But I think we're going to have a nice... Nice angle of the Full battlefield speed, here. No we'll target. have a pretty good idea what we need to do. All right, AC-10. This is... The Irby's obviously got the best percent chance to hit. Now, if we look at here, Fed Sons, not Fed Sons. I think we could potentially... All right. Now, also, if you mouse over here, you can see that with the second firing of my medium laser here, I don't have very good percent chance, so why even bother? Um, I just want to sync that. And you know what? Yeah, let's uh, let's take out this Irby. Let's let's try to do that. Let's uh, let's, let's use the precision strike here. The Irby doesn't have a well, doesn't have a lot of things going on. That right torso is looking pretty juicy, but so is that leg here. Let's go go for that leg. Sixty percent chance. Engaging. Miss. Right arm destroyed. There goes the MRM thirty. That hit something good. Okay, that's fine. All right, shadow. What do you need? All right, I think what we can do is take a shot from up here. 74, 30, 56. 
Or I can sensor ping here. Moving to position. It's a primitive. I don't even know. This thing doesn't have much armor at all. 45 could just lace it here. I'm taking the shot. There we go. Left arm. Now I decided no. not to jump not there the because if you jump, that's going to add to your to to hit. Obviously, that may not be exactly what you want. I'm rolling. What I'm trying to do is just figure out the best possible shot here against these targets, and I think still it's pretty high. 66. Let's take it. Firing. There we go. Left torso again. You inflicted some nasty on that something. You don't you don't land any shots you you don't take, yeah, on, so huh? there is that. And this is where I have to be really careful. Machine guns are nice and all, but I think what we'll do is we'll move her up here. Swing this way. I can get her involved once the enemies are whittled down a lot more. Once I can go strictly for rears and I don't have to worry about her getting flanked. Those vehicles though. Because their movement's so high, it's very, very tricky. These lambs, too, you actually see them. They almost look like jets on legs. Uh, they've got really high evasion or movement. There he goes. He's ejecting there. Um, but they're super squishy. All right, fire starters moved. Right arm, right torso, pilot injured. You just set a fire, plus 30 heat. Let's see what else is going to move here. You can see there. Wow, that was a lot. It's going to melee. Very low melee. But you see that evasion. It's just ridiculous. Let's see what this vehicle does. This Condor. Once I get this Fafner up here, it's going to be a little bit ridiculous. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this as much as I will. Again, Centurion up on the ridge too. Anything below equal height, that's fine. Oh, he's actually... All right. All right. That mech uh, just took it. Took a big hit. Fired at me. Multi-shot. All right. Here we go. Yes. All right. Here we go. All right. I'm not going to sprint here. I'm just gonna run or I'm just gonna I'm just gonna just walk I'm just gonna walk up here there's no reason for me to do anything crazy but before we get there yep. I'm gonna what do I want to take out this, this drill sentence is pretty pretty high up there that wasp has a lot of uh, movement fire starters got a lot of movement let's uh you know let's take out Let's take out this, uh, this condor. Got a lock. Sensors. All right. So that was his move. I didn't move him. Ready to rock. I feel pretty comfortable being up here in this position. And 30. All right. We're just going to focus on this thing here. I got you. Waiting for orders. All right. We're going to get in here. Finn's going to go ahead and maneuver here. Again, not as worried. Just the second. Target confirmed. Focus fire. They're they're focusing on themselves Stepping up here, by. so I really don't have to worry about it too much. Can we get a little bit? No, we can't. All right. I was going to say, can we get a little bit better to Roger. hit chance? 74. The ER mediums, you can see see if we have anything better here. I don't think we do, and that's the case. And dual heavy goss. Wow. Okay. Totally missed. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Alrighty, then. I was going to say, can I get any even... I can't even get close with this for the machine guns to even take effect, so... Really, I think the best bet is just run her over here. I take a shot with the medium. I mean, you might as well. Target confirmed. All right. Pretty low. Again, the no to hit score. ratios, they're not the best right now, but it, it will get better. 
Oh, are you about to turn your back? That poor little guy. Melee is great in this, by the way. Orders. Orders. Yeah. Do you guys wanna? I don't want to use up the uh, the precision strike because I think that'll help with the Fafnir. But we got rear shots here. Firing all weapons. All right. That works. She's in the mix of it. She's in the thick of it, guys. All right, he's entrenched. Yeah, beans are gonna go. Yeah. We like, we like it. And here's more melee and a miss. The Fafner just sitting Overwatch right over you guys. All right. Reserve. Let's see where they go and what. Two. All right, that dude's way out there. He'll fire at one of these. Technically, you could still fire at me with the uh, missiles. Standing by. Right. We have a pretty good. We have a pretty good shot here. What's our percentage? Is 56, 56. Nah. Let's just wait one more time. Let's get our Fafner, and then we'll just go from there. I'm wondering what would be the, what's the most dangerous thing right now? I mean, not too much here. Firestarter has not moved, by the way, which is fantastic for me. Horrible for him. Ready for orders. Yep, let's just go ahead and murder. See you, dude. Firing on target. That worked. Pilot injured. Target's taken a critical hit. Okay. What's up, boss? I said we hold the high ground here. Copy no that. reason to give it up. Could potentially take this little dude out. He's going to go first. Yeah, that actually might be beneficial here. Now we're gonna take a little bit of a penalty, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce that back down. There we go. Let's just go leg, Our torso. That nah, should be enough. I don't. He he, he might have checked here. Yeah, he's one three. He's down. All right, he's dead. Pilot's dead. Yep. Took too many hits. Uh, yep. All right now. Let's go ahead and see. 99, 56. I think we can just take that shot, shall we? Yeah, there's no reason. Confirmed. No reason not to, right leg. He's gonna fall. <laughs> just two little cicadas just up on the hill here. Doing Kerensky's work. Confirmed. All right, so those those two, there's two different, right? So they're going to be fighting each other. So let's go ahead and just take this. One hit. We got a 61% chance. Let's go ahead and take that up from the ridge. Death from height. Let's see what you got. There we go. Engine destruction. Easy peasy. All right, resets. Oh... A wasp versus a wasp lamb. The battle of the ages. Holding for tactical they do look a little bit silly, but hey, you know what? That's battle tech. There is like a Phoenix Hawk one too. Waiting All right, now move. these have moved. I do have height. We've got a vehicle that should make his appearance, maybe. Let's see, there we go, Condor. Again, that evasion is super high. Really, the Davian's got, a, it's a 3v1 there. Let's go ahead sure, and see no him problem. move right here as Standing well. Take shots. And that evasion probably just saved his life. Acknowledge, Commander. And not going to save his life Orders. here. Now that's ninety-nine point ninety-nine point one percent. 
Um, I do want to just be sort of aware of what I can do to these other mechs, though, because I feel like the harder target is actually that guy down here. So yeah. let me go ahead and sensor ping. He's right on this edge of my sensors here, and that's from my cicada up here. So that condor, I feel like we should go after him first. I've got a sensor lock. But let me see here what I can do. Okay, so it's the wrong side here. I thought maybe, just maybe, that was the torso or the part of the the turret. You can see here his right side turret. He's facing this way. Well, that should be his right side, should it not? What are your orders, Skipper? It just blacked out. Oh man, feels bad, man. All right. Um. Aye, aye. So that's 56. Can we go higher than that? 79. Oh, yeah. I should definitely... Okay, well. Hmm. I feel like this is too good. Well, this this would be too easy. We're going to need to take out... There we go. Let's just, let's just do I'm that. On it. Wow. There we go. I was going to say... So that's one. Down. It was just a really easy hit. Ready so I, that's why I'm like, well, do we really need... Accuracy through volume of fire. There we go. Tango is trash, Skipper. Then it's these two left. So that, that's why I was like, why Ready waste orders. that? You know, those are 30. He's got really high evasion there. This is a little bit better. Again, going on his six here. We do have a penalty here. I'm gonna go drop that. AC-10. Vehicle destroyed. That works. Reporting, enemy vehicle eliminated. All right, now, who do we have left here? We yes, have, we have our little locust that could. Now, if you'll notice, I can actually fire after I've sprinted, which is really, really helpful with this mod. But here's the thing. Do I want to do that? I feel like these percents... I think we can work with those. 37. Let's see what we have here. 56. All right. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to come down here. All right. All she really needs to do is hit this torso. So we're going to precision strike. Firing a full salvo. No, all right. She's gonna try again. Maybe. Sixty-nine percent chance. Copy that. There we go. Maybe SRM two crit. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I was, I was a little worried because like all he had to do was like go up in like melee because she didn't move and I was like ah. All right, Commander, the area has been cleared. Darius, give me the green light to the lane immediately. Hold position. Mission successful. So, well, that worked out. All right, so that worked out quite well. That particular mission, um, more often than not, you do have opposing forces, but just keep in mind that's not always the case. And it's really cool, too, because you get to pilot maybe a mech that you don't have. I've been able to pilot, uh, you know, Orions and and Jaegers with dual Goss and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes they do drop in their reinforcements. So just keep that in mind. Don't bite off more than you can chew. That being said, we got a bonus payment. No really damage done, I think, to any of our mechs. Maybe just a scratch. Let's go ahead and click next here. You can see 1,400 experience. Again, that was a two skull mission. That was a really good mission for us to get experience. All right, now on to the salvage part. Here you can see that we've got plenty of parts here, but one of the first things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look down here. Equipment's really important in this game, and as we are just now starting, getting another mech, a good mech to to date, be up, you know, would be really nice. So maybe the Javelin 10P here, Fire Starter. I'm not really interested in any of the wasps or the partial but these two ER large ER mediums would be really, really nice. 
There's no doubles or anything like that. No other really nice piece of equipment. And I get 17 more pieces. So what do we get? All right, we got partial, urban mech, wasp. All right, that's cool. And we got some SRM and SRM ammo. MRM ammo as well. Uh, even though MRM seem to be very, very rare, even in the market. Speaking of markets, we do need to check what is available in the market. Maybe there's something there that we want to grab. So as soon as we get in here, we'll take a look. All right, into the lab we go. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look here. Weapons. Um, actually, there's quite a bit of good stuff here. Heavy rifles, heavy flamers, mortars, AC 10 plus plus plus. A little bit out of our price range right now. But before we leave this planet, we should be able to put that on our Centurion at least. Um, let's see. We have Thunderbolts. Oh, rocket launchers. Okay, nothing too crazy here. We do have armor piercing rounds, by the way. And that's a times two chance to deal critical damage, a critical hit. Really, really cool stuff, by the way. Um, and what else did we have down here? I saw Goss ammo. Is that correct? Yep, ammo Goss. But we have no Goss weapons here. Just to clarify. All right. Equipment, gyro defense, mask. Mask would be very, very nice on my cicada right off the bat. That is 352,000. Double heat sinks. Again, very nice. We got some cooling uh, as well. Generally, I don't buy these because you do find them as salvage. But knowing it's there. All right. We got a wasp part as well. All right. Let's go to the mech lab. Now, we took just superficial damage armor damage so that being said you don't have to repair any armor it just automatically repairs if you had armor blow throughs that went to structure you will have to go here and if there was no nothing destroyed or anything like that you'll have to click repair um, but of course we'll get into that more as we go along now the parts that i just got you click on storage you see that we've got a few parts now you'll see wasp 105 and wasp 1a if we had another wasp 105 here we'd actually be able to build this or the 1a and you can use the other two parts it's actually a really cool uh, mod and again that allows you to basically go after maybe a variant that you care about and a variant that you don't care about um, but let's go check out the barracks here we got some good experience on that one Commander. and like i said i think with her i will end up going uh, sensor lock because it's so very important. What do you um, need? All right, I'm gonna go sure footing. I think on this right off the bat. I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Anyways, uh, blockade. Let's go ahead and just him. Reporting. Crash. Bin. All right, we'll do Mech that route. Geezer did really well. Good job, Geezer. We're gonna go for that gunnery training there. Complete. Yeah. All right, and let's go piloting right there. I think I'm pretty, pretty sure that's what I'm going to end up doing. Training confirmed, Commander. All right, cool. Also, who do we have here in the hiring hall? Ooh, we have Deadeye here. Uh, Chris Winsler's mother cleaned the house of the rich, uh, of the rich on uh, Shara Third. While Chris played in the back streets nearby, our richer children went to private schools while he struggled to keep his place in a rundown two-room public schoolhouse. And eventually, they went off to lucrative jobs while he stayed at home to take care of the increasingly ill mother, reading her books. After she died in their leaking apartment, he enlisted the next day. It was the only way off uh, Shara thir 3 for him, and the only way he could make sure his future children would have a better childhood than he did. After basic training, he served five years tour of Hesperus uh, II, where almost anybody could get a cockpit experience in a battle mech. After his tour was over, he left the El Calf and headed to Solaris 7, hoping to be hoping, as so many hoped, to do well enough that he could build up a nest egg for a brighter future. He landed on his feet on Solaris with Lion City stables. They treated him well, but while his skills were adequate to keep him alive, he didn't have the personality to shine. After several years, his manager advised him to give up on Solaris while he still could, while he was still alive. He was advised to head out to the periphery where he would do well as a mercenary. Why do you have to go to the mercenary to, or periphery to be a mercenary? What's up with that? His manager even provided him with a list of companies to try to join, a letter of recommendation that spoke highly of his even temperament and marksman skills. You know what? New mech warriors available. We need that. 
We need that also. We will be sending this guy out to Commander. die. If you don't know why, just play the game a little bit more and you'll understand why Darius needs to die. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, this is the Battletech Advance 3062 mod. I will have all this information, again, down in the description below. I've been playing this almost every single day, and of course, you can catch that live on our Twitch channel, and that is twitch.tv forward slash NGNGTV, where I'll be playing this and a whole host of other games uh, along with this. Um, but if you have any information or want any information, be feel to share it down below, and of course, join us on Discord, hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, so forth. All that information, of course, can be found uh, over on our Twitch page and below the stream. This is a fantastic mod. I can tell you this has brought me back to this game. I'm addicted to it. And really, honestly, I can't wait for the clan uh, expansion this modder is bringing to the game because I love clan. Just the Timber. I want the Timber. I want my Timberwolf, Mad Dog, Summoner, Hellbringer. It's going to happen. But be before that, we're going to we're going to go here with the first armored battalion, go through the inner sphere, see what we can see, see what we can do. And uh, anyways, just hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to comment, like, subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you guys get email notifications when we go live. And of course, uh, if you'd like to join us on Discord, I'll also post up the videos and so forth and so on. Anyways, guys, this has been the first video of a long ongoing series I'm going to be making on this particular mod. If you want any information, make sure to head over to the Nexus page and download this simple instructions again. If I can do it, you can do it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. See you on the next episode. Until next time, peace. I'm going to throw you out of there, Lock Darius, if I could. Standing by. But instead, I think that urban mech. Very appropriate. Yes. Yes, Darius. I think so. <laughs> oh, it's going to be great.